Thank you, Madam President and trustees, members of the community. We want to thank our school teams, our teachers, and our principals, and all the school staff who did an excellent job in planning their NAPID celebrations in each of our 32 schools across the district. Uh, Andrew has pulled together all of the Twitter uh, social media, and of course there was Facebook and other components, but this will give you a little flavor of what occurred in the schools last Monday. There were a variety of uh, celebrations. If you'd like to look on Twitter to find them all, they're under hashtag NAPID, N-A-A-P-I-D, and they're also under hashtag A Together. Those are the two hashtags that we used for that day um, to kind of keep all of our social media organized together. Uh, NAPID was launched, as you all know, by our own Mr. Joe Doolin back in 1995. This day observes National African American Parent Involvement Day, NAPID. It was inspired by the Million Man March, and the observance was created to encourage parents to begin practicing the goals of NAPID. The goals of NAPID include promoting African-American parent involvement in our, in our children's education, promoting and providing strategies for African-American parents and students to take full advantage of the educational process at all the levels of education, preschool through post-secondary, to identify and develop partnership efforts between all sectors of the community, business, school, home, and across the community to create a national network on the state and local levels to achieve the mission and goals of NAPID, to offer educational workshops, seminars, and institutes relating to parental involvement and eliminating the achievement disparities, um, and to establish an annual National African American Parent Involvement Day, celebrated on the second Monday in February. This 2017 day was the 21st anniversary of NAPID. During the evening event, Washtenaw Intermediate School District Superintendent uh, was honored um, with the award, uh, the Joseph and Yvonne Doolin NAPID Spirit Award for his outstanding service for NAPID. We also were at Washtenaw Community College where we uh, heard the keynote speaker, Dr. Eddie Connor. He was just an amazing speaker. I was delighted to have several trustees uh, join us on that evening. Here are some of the specific highlights from schools, our community high schools, uh, sign language group, uh, learned how to, sing this, how to sign the song, Lift Every Voice. We were delighted to hear, hear and see our Pathway students also on this this evening, our Eber White fifth graders created the underrepresented people of history wax museum. And you'll see some photos coming up of that. Our Pittsfield students made love letters in art class and then performed a building wide assembly. Westerman preschool, and I understand trustee Mitchell uh, helped facilitate or facilitated over there, held a community fair with raffles and prizes. Author Huda Essa spoke about social justice at Bryant and Pattongill, and they also hosted a talent show. Mitchell welcomed the Great Lakes African American Quilters Network. If you get to see some of these quilts, they are just amazing. And the kindergartners made quilt squares inspired by the quilts of Guy's Ben. Mitchell also held an assembly reflecting on civil rights, fairness, and equality. Ann Arbor Open's NAPID Breakfast included a conversation about promoting inclusivity at the school. Carpenter Elementary parents and younger siblings participated in a Dear Drop Everything and Read a drumming assembly, and State Representative Adam Zemke read, talked, and listened to students over at Carpenter last Monday. So we just want to thank our teachers, our staff, our uh, leaders, our students, our parents, and our community for an amazing NAPID 2017. Thank you.